Okay, so this is the installation video for the space bar. Um, we're going to start out by looking at the metal plates on the keyboard itself. You can see that uh, at the very right there's a metal piece with a hole in the middle. That same piece is here at the very left. Um, they both have a hole in the middle so they can grab onto a metal wire that's underneath um, the key itself. So we're going to use the fittings or metal pieces next to those. Um, which is these here. There's two at the top here with holes in them and then there's one large one with a hook. Uh, make sure to look at the different keys because um, sometimes they can change position. The large hook can be at the top or maybe to the side. So um, the position for those pieces determines the position for these pieces here. What we're going to do now is uh, determine the position for these two pieces, then click them together, then insert them you know, onto the keyboard. Uh, we're going to start out with the large piece here. You can see that at the top it has two uh, holes, like rectangle holes. Those are going to go wherever the two um, hooks are. Two small hooks, actually. They're not holes, never mind. They're two small hooks and one large hook. So. Uh, those holes are going to go wherever the two small hooks are and um, the bottom bar is going to go um, close to the hook here so make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that by feeling um, underneath the side bars the vertical bars if you feel a bump that faces the keyboard if you feel it smooth that faces up so go ahead and insert those two holes at the top wherever the two small hooks are and push down fairly hard and kind of down so that the hook can grab onto the metal uh, plastic pieces. Then you get your next piece which is this. Actually you know what, let's click them together outside. Uh, put this piece down for now, now that you know the right position then you get your next piece which is this it has one large bar at the bottom that's going to go underneath the hook the large hook then uh, the two side pins in the middle are going to click into the large piece make sure not to put this entire piece upside down like that by feeling the bottom bar if you feel the bottom bar pops up away from the keyboard turn it around because it's supposed to face the keyboard. You can see that it's kind of going that way where the main part of the keyboard is over here and the um, the pin, the bottom bar goes that way a little bit so we want it to stand on that bottom bar. Now that you know the position for both pieces you put the small piece over the large piece like this and um, insert the middle pin into the hole that's in the middle of the large piece. Once you have that, at the same time you want the bottom bar of the small piece to go underneath the bottom bar of the large piece. So now you have the bar underneath and the first pin inside of the hole and you hold those to, uh, so to keep them in place. Now we're going to try to put the other pin into the other hole and we're going to do that by separating the large piece away from the small piece in order for the pin to actually go in. Now both pieces are one. What you have to do is put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large hook and the whole plastic piece has to be fairly flat in order for it to go in. Then you push the piece up in order for the uh, like you slide it up and then you push down against the keyboard in order for the small hooks to go into the holes of the, the plastic pieces up there now for saving time I already did this other side so we're going to determine the position for the space bar now you can see that at the top it's flat and over here it kind of 
um, it's like a little hill going down so we're gonna flip this piece this way uh, don't flip the piece like this we're gonna work with it by flipping it this way for now and we're going to uh, count the fittings the actual fittings on the back of the side here so if you count the fittings at the bottom we're gonna place this piece on the third fourth fifth and sixth fitting uh, the gap here goes up and we're just gonna place this piece uh, right in the center of the fittings and then push down to all four click then we're gonna lay down the piece onto the key then push those uh, um, push the wire right um, you know what I forgot to mention uh, there's a large part here and a smaller part here so the small part goes to the right go ahead and insert that in the bottom first then we're going to do the top now you get your other wire which is this and you're going to put it on the top four pins five pins actually just make sure all of them click all the way in okay now uh, we're going to open the wire so it's sticking out like that and put those into the two remaining fittings that are at the very edges lay the piece down flat and uh, just push down evenly on every single part you can until you feel everything clicks in its place and that's 